So let's have a look at a little secret splitting protocol. OK, so one method that we can use if Trent wants to send to Bob a message to Bob and Alice and he wants to split the message up and so that oh, when Bob and Alice combine the message they actually have the original message back again. So this what we'll do is we'll take a message, so in this case we'll take test, so that's T-E-S-T -E and then we'll take a random bit sequence in this case we'll just use T T T T. So here we have T T T T and then we're going to exclusive or the two bit sequences together. So exclusive or a zero and a zero gives us zero. A zero and a one gives us one, one zero gives us one, and a one and a one gives us zero. Just like binary adding. So zero and zero gives us zero, one and one gives us zero, zero one gives us one, and so on. So this creates S. So what Trent will do is send S to, to Bob. It's not possible for Bob to be able to uh, decode the message from here. And then he'll send, Trent will send Alice R. So that when both of these elements of the share are brought together, then in the exclusive word we get the original message back again. So in that way we've managed to share the message. So let's have a look at the example. Okay, so we have test, TTT, we communicate it and there's the message back here. And we'll just try it again, so we'll take a message here and a random bit, bit sequence and we can see here again we have our message back again. We see that the message that's sent to Bob is the encoded message from the exclusive or so you'll see we have several non-printing characters. These three characters are non-printable so we don't see them here uh, but the last one or one of them actually is. So that's why we often use B64 to transmit messages because we can see the B64 is actually printable. Okay, so that was a basic protocol to be able to uh, split secrets.